Hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Wolfwork C Sharp Uncut Let's Play series. We're going to continue where we last left off. Uh, last episode, we engaged the enemy on, uh, what was it? Yeah, Theta for Nasius. Uh, and we determined that their forces were not as strong as once previously believed. Currently, estimates sit at around 8,000 tons, but considering fortification level, that could be up to 30,000 tons worth of ground forces, combined with 700 tons of surface-to-orbit weapons, which could obviously be 2,100 tons. Now, I have discussed with the senators, or discussed with my members on Discord and, and some other viewers, uh, exactly what we will be doing to be able to beat these enemies. Currently, our ground forces are quite a bit of ways away, with only three infantry brigades currently ready for construct uh, for um, deployment. Uh, while well, only two infantry brigades ready for deployment, and our marines are not ready whatsoever. And if we have a look at this, as you can see here. Uh, to actually outfit a full marine division, we're going to be needing uh, a, four, you know, 12 battalions, uh, more batteries, uh, and also reconnaissance battalions and, and the like. So we've got a lot of forces that we're going to need to be able to uh, pull together. So plan B, or plan A, is going to be to use ground support fighters. So instead of risking our forces, uh, we're going to be using a significant amount of carrier uh, or close air support fighters with the goal being to decimate the surface to orbit weapons and possibly even destroy the entire enemy ground force. If that does not work, we will then have to wait for ground forces. Estimates are in the four to six year range for completion of all ground forces necessary for uh, taking the world. Due to it being a forest mountain world, I want at least a six times advantage. That's why I want 200,000 tons. Otherwise, we could just land more forces on it. But uh, yeah. Another thing as well is I know, uh, reading on some of the change logs, um, the reason we have a 0.4% chance there is because it's a forest mountain world. And so likely bombardment won't do anything. But what we are going to try out is we have, if we have a look over at our uh, task group, we have the Strike Wings, and they have loaded uh, Mark 1 missiles. I don't know how they did it, but they have loaded it. Um, oh, it looks like they haven't. It's just that it's also assigned that correctly. Okay. So we'll also assign, we, we auto assign that and assign that to system. Either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give uh, one salvo. Okay, I'm, I'm going to fire one salvo from a single strike wing, and I want to see how effective that will actually be. But to do that, we need to move away our task group. We took very little damage from the enemy forces. It seems the extent of their range is around 200,000 kilometers. Uh, so we're going to bring back task group Alpha. Um, they're going to go and join the fleet. Once we're ready for that, we're going to prepare to fire our missiles. Okay. So we're taking some strength and one impacts, but I'm not too, too concerned. Uh, I'm going to tell them to uh, hold fire, though. Um, we took some armor damage, as you can see there, but nothing too significant. Um, so there we go. And we we have, I think we fired back, did we? No, we didn't. We, we just took more strength one hits. There we go. Now we're away from the target. Away from the target. Now we're going to head back to the task group. I'm going to launch the first Aardvark Strike Wing. Tell them to fire onto the surface to orbit weapons. If this does not work, we're just going to not do it. Uh, open fire control, assign fleet. And fire, please. So that is all missiles our way. Chance to hit 100% supposedly. Um, data for night, Benacius. Uh, SDO ground forces coming in. We're going to hold, tell them to cease fire. Uh, and then we'll assign that to the system, and then I'll tell them to uh, land back on the ta on their assigned mothership. That's so fleet. Okay, missiles are away. These are the new Mark II missiles. This is the first ever time they've been fired towards an opponent. Uh, they are very, very, very fast. Okay, chance to hit 1.7%. Uh, so, we killed two surface-to-orbit weapons. With 76 nuclear detonations. Uh, yeah, that's so we out of 70. What? 
we killed two ground units with a 1.7% chance to hit. So definitely not worth the bombardment um, and the damage to the planet. But considering we did destroy uh, some surface to orbit weapon capability, but not a lot. So uh, let's get our forces back and then we are going to move uh, straight back to uh, Sol and we're going to refuel uh, and we're going to then prepare for uh, getting some ground fires. So to do that, I'm going to need to research a few things. The first thing I'm going to need to research is going to be the pod bay and also then the pod itself so we're going to go for the auto cannon pod the reason it's going to go for the auto cannon i was waiting for the bombardment but i wanted more penetration and i want damage so we're going to go for a size 20 pod uh so we're going to go for the mark one um galing auto cannon so mark one galing auto cannon We'll create that design and then we can begin to add that. And then we'll need to produce those and then we'll also need to produce the other stuff. Uh, so I'm going to tell the, if we go to Mr. Kinetics, uh, we're waiting on where is the research prototype? Fighter pod bay, there it is. So we're going to add that to the queue. I'm going to remove this from the queue for now. And then I'm going to add to the missiles and kinetics weapons. I'm going to cancel that project. I'm going to add to these guys. Uh, the order to add the auto cannon in. There we go. So now we're going to head home. And there we go. So we've tested that capabilities and we're going to hopefully try and deal with them uh, in another way. Uh, looks like we just finished research at some point. No, looks like one of the scientists die or something like that. Uh, let's go for what would be a good substitute. Uh, let's go to sensors and fire controls. I do want the flag bridge as quick as possible. Then we need to focus on construction and production. Um, I'm going to go for the fuel production for now, uh, and then I'm going to focus on fighter fuel rates. Uh, yeah, fuel production and fighter fuel fighter production rates. We're also establishing a colony on the ruined city of Impassive. Uh, we are going to probably want to get some stuff over there as soon as we can. So let's have a look at the town. So we have you over here orbiting. Let's load up both of these guys immediately and let's head over to uh, 55 Brutus um, and then unload all ground forces there accordingly. Uh, because that could have some valuable stuff. We also need to wait for the deltas to be done so that we can actually move in some military outpost equipment. Uh, which is going to be important. Another thing I did before the episode was I designed a new troop transport. The troop transport Natal PA or uh, planetary assault. It's got drop capable bays and also armor, but less total troop capacity and it's a lot more expensive. The point of this design is going to be to provide us with the capability to land forces onto the ground easily. Because if we have a look at this design, it's going to take a lot longer because they have to manually do it. So. I've already given the order to retool to the PA. That will be done in December of next year. Um, I, we also have three more Natals being constructed at this time. Uh, so where do we want to go here? Lambda Volantis seems like a good place to go because we need to find out more about if there's anything that way. But there was also discussions about dealing with the precursors. Um, uh, and yeah, I, I I was considering that as well. Also, what's the radiation like on this planet? Radiation minus twenty percent, industry minus five percent growth, atmospheric dust lowers the temperature by minus five degrees Celsius, which actually helps habitability. <laughs> but yeah, it's a little bit of an irradiated wasteland over it, but it's not. Don't, don't worry about it too much. It'll, it'll, it'll go over over the years. It's, uh, it's not that big of a concern. Uh, we can finish up division headquarters. We nearly have all the stuff we're going to need to actually do our other formations and divisions. So that is definitely something that is going to be pretty good there. Uh, let me go over here. Let's go to... I'm just going to bring that up just so I know exactly what formations I do need to build. Task group Alpha has completed orders and is now orbiting Earth. Very, very good. Uh, so... You guys are all over there. We're going to begin to uh, repair up our vessels uh, because we did take some 
structural damage on some of our ships. Only two of them, though, were actually damaged by the enemy lasers. Um, overall, pretty, pretty happy with that. Okay, so we now have a lot more element stuff researched and ready. Um, now we can start to think about actually adding that. So we have the Marine uh, Infantry Battalion, then we have the Long Range Battery. Now we're going to need to add in the regiment, then the yeah the regiment, then the division, then the expeditionary force. So the first thing we're going to do is going to add in the um, marine reg infantry regiment FMC. Okay, and this is going to have the uh, regimental headquarters. So there we go. We have one of those. Uh, and then the rest is going to be in logistics support. So if we have a look at current battalion, um, we have no logistics within that battalion itself. So we can have logistics at the regimental level instead. So we need the uh, MSV uh, 62. Let's bring out our calculator, our trusty calculator again. Uh, so the yeah, the marine the marine regiment is going to be thirty kilotons, and it's going to have what ten kilotons for the actual um logistics. So uh, the nine thousand eight hundred divide that by sixty two, that gives us one hundred and fifty eight total that we can add to this design. So there we go. That gives us the uh, marine infantry regiment. Uh. And that gives us 75,000 GSP, which is a hell of a bloody lot. Uh, if we want to think, oh, 79,000 GSP, right? So if we have four battalions, they each take 2,400. So they take 5,600 GSP um, every combat. So we do 80,000, uh, divide that by 5,600. That means that we have a total of 14 combats, so around 200 hours total with the built in as well uh, per regiment, okay? Uh, then we want to add in the next uh, formation, and that's going to be the Marine Division. Marine, uh, Marine Division, FMC. Um, and that will have, uh, where is the Divisional Headquarters here? We have the MF, MEF, but where's the Divisional? Did I not make the Divisional Headquarters? Oh, there we go, Divisional Headquarters. So that's 200. 200,000 tons worth of size there. Uh, then we're going to, so we have 30, if we have a look at this, right, so each regiment's going to be 30 kilotons, so 90, 120, then these are going to be 10 kilotons, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, that gives us 30 kilotons total for the uh, the division. So let's go to our calculator, let's do uh, 2,900, um, so five, no, two, two nine, uh, yeah, two nine seven five. There we go. Divide that by sixty two. That gives us four hundred and eighty three vehicles, which gives us a total logistics capacity of two hundred and forty one thousand. Um which is a hell of a bloody lot, but that's also extremely costly there. Uh, so let's do 480... 479, there we go. I just want to make sure it's all under the exact limits that I've set for these. So that gives us a logistics capacity of 240,000, so that alone will be able to support significant amount of infantry. Um, each division, let's say, is 5,600. That means three... We have, what, five divisions? We have four divisions? Three. Di we have three di infantry divisions. So we're talking, like, 18,000, right? Um, so we go 240. Which we divide by 18,000. That gives us 13.13. So, like, it all scales up here and to get way more logistics. Um, I'm also going to make more lo make specific logistics companies that will be used for replacements into these formations, but the logistics themselves, that will be handled in the division to be self-sufficient, um, of course. So that's the division, and then we want to add the final, uh, the final uh, layer, uh, which is going to be the expeditionary force. Uh, so we're going to go for marine 
expeditionary force or um, FMC and that will give us Marine Expeditionary Corps headquarters um, and then we'll use the rest here or yeah, we'll use the rest for logistics again uh, so 49750 oh my bad uh, 49750 divide that by 62 that gives us 800 vehicles total which gives us quite a hefty cost there. That is going to take us quite a few years, I would think. No, that'd take us multiple years to get a full Marine Expeditionary Force out. So we may want to hold off for now um, on that logistics, but that would give us a ton of logistics to actually play with. So what I'm going to do is we're going to delete that. Uh, we're going to instead just make, we're going to have it just for now uh, not be that costly. Um, so FMC. We expedition A force headquarters. There we go. Uh, and then I'm going to also change out the division to also be a little bit less costly. Um, actually, no. We can we can do what we want to do because we have um, points already built up. So we'll do 800 right there, and that will give us a total cost of 2,184. And we can afford both of those. Then we'll build the rest with other stuff. But yeah, that gives us a lot, a lot, a lot of logistics, uh, which we can then use and then we'll replace accordingly. Uh, that is pretty much it. We have to do the other battalion, so the Marine Regiment Artillery. Um, so we want to do Marine Artillery Battery, uh, FMC. And then we want to add in some bombardment guns. So, if we have a look at medium bombardment over here, um, that looks good. Uh, let's go for our headquarters there. We have the battery headquarters. We're going to add one of those. Then let's add in all of our howitzers. So, we're going to add in, we have 52 to play with. So, let's go for 48 total. That gives us 24, 96. So, we're going to go for 96 medium bombardment. Uh, how about 95? So 95 medium bombardment uh, weapons, uh, which they'll be able to assist from there. So that's that battery done. Now we need to do the heavy battery, but we don't have access to heavy bombardment just yet. So we're gonna we're not gonna go into that for now. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna go into that for now. Uh, then we need to do the marine combat engineer battalion, uh, which will hold quite a few forces, so Marine Combat Engineer Battalion, which is basically going to be the same as a normal Combat Engineer Battalion, but it's going to have better infantry in it. Uh, so let's go over to Maintenance Construction Vehicle, we're going to go for 30, and I'm going to add in some Marines, we'll do 80 Marines there, uh, 12, 18, we'll do 76 then. There we go. So we have some marines in there as well. And we also have the, obviously, the maintenance construction vehicles. We also have the light armor reconnaissance battalions. We have the light armor battalions over here, but these light armor reconnaissance are going to be much bigger. So we're going to name this a light armored reconnaissance battalion um, and an FMC. And then we're going to add that accordingly in. Um, let me have a look. We need something that's 10,000 ton capacity, don't we, my bad. Um, we only have 5,000 ton capacity here. Uh, we'll have to do a light vehicle then headquarters with 10,000 tons of capacity. There we go. And then we're going to go for FMC. Uh, LAV 62 HQ. We'll do that for now. I'm not really giving it a name just, just yet. And then we'll set that avoid, to avoid combat. We'll create that design and then we'll put that into research immediately. Uh, design, go and combat. Yeah, for now, we just need to train all these forces up. So I'm going to tell Earth that we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, well, that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then we're going to need regiments one, two, three regiments. Then we're going to need a division. Uh, which I will handle, and then some other stuff. I uh, will also go for our long-range battery, and then we're going to go for three marine artillery batteries there. 
Um, and that shouldn't take that long. The regiments will take a little bit longer, of course, but uh, we should be able to get those out relatively quickly. Um, yeah, okay, that works for me. Uh, and now we just need to wait for get the pod bays and all the other stuff sorted out for us, and then we can start to think about moving forces down. Something that I am going to do is I'm going to detach both of these wings, and they're just going to stay here over Earth. I'm going to put these into, uh, into reserves, realistically speaking. Uh, so I'm going to tell them to go to fleets, go to reserves, and just join as a subfleet. Uh, fleets, reserves, join as a subfleet. There we go. And that will free up capacity for the Fury class fighters, which we will be building. Speaking of those fighters, we're going to be needing some more uh, factor, fighter capacity. So I'm going to order another 100 fighter factories at 25%. And they should be, we should be able to get plenty of those done this year at least. Speaking of Galasite, which is our current main concern, uh, if we have a look at mining, we are actually getting some Galasite income. Uh, as Sirius gets more and more mines, we are mining more and more Galasite, which is kind of covering the costs of all of our naval forces. Three more Natals completed construction. Good. Um, I'm going to construct one more of those. Uh, let me go to Shipyard Fleet. We can construct one more, and then we'll refit those eventually as well. But yeah, that should allow us to move plenty of ground forces over. Um, and then we'll have to refit those to the PA class to uh, do the ground. But hopefully we won't even need that, but we may need it. It really, it really does depend how effective our fighters are once we actually get our hands on them. Uh, speaking of that, when is that going to occur for us? Uh, looks like it's going to take quite a bit. Uh, you, we're going to go for ground force construction wait, we need to get up because of the amount we're actually building. Uh, Mark 1 Galing Autocannon will be done soon. And then we can start to actually uh, design, build, and make all of these other things. We also just completed up the FMC LAV, so now that HQ, so now that means we're going to add in the uh, Light Armored Reconnaissance Brigade, which I've already done, so now we're going to add the actual design. Uh, so FMC, so we're going to add one of these. Then we're going to add in, uh, how many are in this, in the Light Armored Battalion? 67, 64, 64 Buffaloes, okay, we'll do 128 Buffaloes then. Um, and then we'll do 132 Bisons. Uh, we can do one more, we can do 135, there we go, 130, 134. Okay, so that gives us the Light Armored Reconnaissance Battalion, which has plenty of LAVs, or Light Armored Vehicles, and the point of that battalion is to break through enemy lines and do a lot of damage on the front line. Um, so we're going to order in two of those, that'll be quite costly though, and take quite a bit of time. And yeah, we're well, just going to keep incrementing. Once we have the auto cannon available, and we also have the fighters available, which we should already have. Let me have a look. Uh, yeah, we already have the Fury able to be built, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to order 88 Furies total. Uh, so we have a total capacity of 36, 72, 16, 8. Yeah, we have a total capacity of 88 Furies, so we're going to build 88 Furies. That'll take us... January, it'll take us until January of 2000 before we can, uh, or 2200 before we can actually get all of them built and ready. Uh, but once we do, they should be very, very powerful. We're just waiting on um, getting our, getting the weapons sorted out. So now we have the auto cannons. So we're going to go for ordnance. I'm going to build. What would that be? How many would we need? We need about 180. Uh, of these auto cannons, we're going to put 25% on that. Uh, and then we're going to go for the Galing auto cannons. We're going to need, what's that going to be? Uh, 240. 240, 90, 270. We're going to need 270 of these ones. We'll give that 50% capacity though. And that 50% capacity. And that'll take us not that long to get all of those weapons. And they're very, very, very cheap in comparison to a missile. Missiles are expensive, um, just in general they are. Um, okay. Flag bridge is going to be done soon, which is going to be really, really nice. Uh, let's have them 
get electronic warfare and then also the electronic interference module. Um, the answer flag, which is done, I think that's the last component we need for the supercarrier. Now we can start to consider construction of that at some point. Also get the research down. Uh, thermal reduction uh, has been researched there, so let's keep going for that. Uh, less thermal reduction, the better. And the plan is we're going to make some self craft or submarines at some point. I think that would be quite cool. Poor Diaz. Uh, I really need to redesign these explorers um, at some point. Uh, Volantis, go to Volantis. Um, we complete research as a flag bridge, so we're going to add that to our designs. So I want to add that to the super carry design. Uh, so I want to add the kind of control flag bridge, 250 tons. So we're going to, have to reduce some of the fuel. Uh, so we'll reduce that fuel, get rid of that. I'm going to add in the extra fuel there. Uh, 70,000 tons, uh, which is pretty insane. Can't believe I'm actually building a ship this big. Uh, yeah, oh, that carried over annoyingly. We're gonna have to get with the one there. It's just gonna have to be really, really annoying. I'll sort it after screen. You can sort this out just fine. But yeah, this will have the flag bridge on it. Um, now what do we need to actually build this? Uh, so we have everything but the carrier stores and the engine. So we need the hundred engines, and then we also need to get the carrier stores, uh, so I'm going to put that under, I'm going to remove labs, and we're going to get that researched immediately for us, um, there we go, and then all we'll need after that to build the actual carrier is the engines, um, which is kind of an important step to a carrier, <laughs> or to any ship, um, but yeah, so we're going to be building quite a few of these Fury classes, um, I am going to make sure that we actually assign to the Furies what ordinance they're going to be using. So you're going to be using two of those and then three of the Galenk autocannons. Um, I did some math over in the Discord, some quick math, and estimated damage for 90 of these uh, fighters is around 27,000 HP, if they hit all of them, of course. Uh, so let's change that around. Um, the ruined city has been fully surveyed. There are 81 uh, abandoned installations. The Cobra Haven. So yeah, we had uh, landed some forces onto Impassive. And, oh, they're tech level 3. Okay, we've only had tech level 2s before. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I wonder what we will find. I'm very interested to know. Anything useful? Abandoned terraforming installation found. And then construction factory. More infantry battalions were just trained on that planet. Uh, we also had some reassignments for various commands. Uh, so let's assign these into their brigades. Uh, so we have how many brigades? Is it uh, four brigades per division, right? So one, uh, one, two, three, four. Um, then we also need the combat engineer brigades on top of that, but we don't want or combat engineer battalions, but we don't have that just yet from here. So we're gonna have to train up a bunch of combat engineers, which is gonna take quite a bit of time. Um because the I want combat engineers for each individual brigade so that they can be self-sufficient in defending any particular world that I need them to. Uh, new formation training task, uh, Diego Sills completed overhauls in Bernard Star. Send you out to Lambda Volantis. There we go. Uh, now we're just we're just waiting here for uh, more fighters to actually be completed and ready. How is the industry wise coming on with that? We've already constructed about twenty of them. Uh, that'll take us December twenty one ninety nine before that is done. Four Marine Infantry Battalions just completed construction over on Earth, which is lovely to see. We still have another eight more battalions to train up. Uh, I also had a talk over on the Discord about our racial wealth situation. So if you look at our one year, uh, we actually are expending significantly more than we would otherwise. Mostly on um, research is our main main cost and also installation construction. But as we increase our unit, uh, ground unit forces, we are going to be taking a lot more in terms of training. So we have our training is already up at 3.5% of our economy is going into ground force unit training. So. And that will increase over time. 
the goal for this episode though is uh we're gonna try and get ourselves um to a point where we can actually uh can actually do some stuff so the ion drive is is there and we just have it um i'm going we can't actually uh continue the research of that so i'm just going to copy the name and i'm going to add in engines uh, that's, what was the size of the engine again? It was 80, I think, or 96. Yeah, 96. And then it had a power boost of, uh, what was that? Yeah, power boost of 160, 180. 175 was the power boost, I see. Uh, so we'll have to design an iron drive. There we go. EP. Um, and we're going to create that design. I'm going to put all our power and propulsion technology into researching that design. It shouldn't take that long, and then we can begin immediate construction of the supercarrier. And then we nearly have a full carrier group ready to go. It's just going to be a question of the cruisers and also the build time. So it's going to look like probably 2110s until we get that sorted out. Uh, we got ground force construction com uh, rate just increased. Uh, let's keep researching that on, and that should reduce. Yeah, it seems like that's reduced it by quite a significant amount. The time it will take to produce all of those ground forces. Uh, the microbe should complete our overhaul. Let's send you back over to Lambda Volantis, the place where I dump all of you guys. Uh, how is this place doing, though? Cargo shuttle station. Oh, nice. They'll need to love the cargo shuttle station. Probably. Research facility, construction factory, fighter factory, mines, automated mines, five, four mines. Okay, there's quite a lot there. We're going to have to move those off. I still haven't moved off the other stuff from like Shrew 298 and other things like that. Um, yeah, I'm interested to see if we get any components. That's what I'm mainly interested in seeing. Uh, production of Gailing Autocannon completed. We constructed our 29th Fury class ca carrier close air support fighter. <sighs> Okay, let's uh, continue our increments. Uh, we should be able, by the end of the episode, we should be able to get all these uh, fighters on and trained, and then we can start to retire. And this will kind of envision what the rice class carrier will be made for, and that will be, it will become a ground support carrier, really, at the end of the day. Uh, 50th Infantry Battalion was trained on the rice. Rice's production of ground forces is, is really picked up. I mean, if we look at the current... Capacity, we have 200,000 tons of ground forces now on the planet. Um, yeah, 200,000 tons of ground forces. Uh, also, our Galasite is looking very, very much, much, much better. Um, also, you can see here which ninth racial bone is active. Very nice. Uh, how is the Hydra Extent doing? Uh, not too, too good. <laughs> I'll have to figure out how to fix that in a little bit, but yeah. So I want as many fighters as possible. Now, I have read a bit about the close air support stuff. It's, we may take quite a few losses, but once we get over there, the surface store weapons can actually target the fighters. So that will be the hope. Uh, Cargo Group Delta has completed orders. Okay, so Cargo Group Delta, you got a new job, and that is to move stuff away from that planet, the new colony. Uh, where are you? Okay, I want you to go over to uh, 55 Buddhists. I want you to load. Yeah, load that, load mines, and load terraforming installation, bring them back to Sol, and load all installations please for me, thank you. Okay, retooling for the Natal PA class has completed, uh, very, very good, uh, we're going to retool for that design. Uh, not retool, we fit, we fit in the Natals, so boom, boom, boom. So that, the refit will take, how long will that take? About a year for a refit, uh, which is quite a bit, but it's less than what we would otherwise deal with. Uh, what we can do now, though, is I'm going to instantly build one of these, and I'm also going to instantly build the Expeditionary Force, one of these. There we go. So uh, that will put, we'll put the division in the Expeditionary Force. Then we can start thinking about these infantry battalions, but we have to wait a little bit before we get the regimental headquarters um which will be produced at some point but yeah everything is chugging along just just great uh ground forces should be on the way here um and i'm pretty happy with that okay normandy the only thing now is the engine i do believe that is the only thing currently stopping us from that um, 
because we just finished that design. What I am going to do though is I'm going to continue research into getting us better thermonuclear warheads uh, because we're going to need them. Um, yeah, overall though, I'm, I'm very, very happy with how everything is going. Uh, battalion trained, infantry battalions trained, we're now producing more battalions. Like the amount we're producing of ground forces every year is getting pretty insane at this point. Um, our ground force commanders are going to get pretty damn filled up. Uh, so we may need to actually expand our, our some of our other stuff. Uh, we found 6.8 million litres of fuel. Uh, we also found maintenance supplies. No for me installations. Anything. I would like components. Get me like an engine or anything. That would be very, very nice. More infantry battalions just completed. Uh, class M on FTS. That's not info we show. Okay. Just making sure that we don't have breakdowns across the uh, across the uh, line, so to speak. Okay, uh, what are we waiting on now? What is how many fighters do we currently have uh, available to us? Uh, let me have a look at the naval organization chart. Uh, new fighters: we have thirty six, we have fifty carrier air support cast fighters. Uh, yeah, 50 of them, um, so we're bringing 90, so we're about 4,500 tons worth of fighters there. So we're about halfway done, uh, until, yeah, we're about halfway done, uh, fighter-wise. Uh, Paula Diaz, uh, let's move you back to, that would be a good place, um, Altair, in fact, we don't really find anything through that place, so we can go survey that. Uh, Diego Silv, you can also go to Altair. There we go. And then let's do date increments. Okay, uh, Natal was built. We can then use, continue to use the shipyard over here to expand uh, and also to refit these designs to the new class. Um, slowly but surely. And that will uh, make everything a lot, lot easier for us. Uh, we found 10,000 tons of geranium on Impassive. That's really, really nice. Gravitational survey completed. The Marlin Frobisher found basically nothing. So it's a dead end system. Uh, head over to Altair then. I'd like to know if there's any offsprings into better areas. We complete research into the supercarrier drive, which now means that if we remove these engines, there we go, and we add on our own engines. Uh, let's go to here. We add two of these, there we go. Uh, and I'm going to add in the fight. Oh, I'm kind of. Okay, there we go. Supercarrier can be built now. Uh, so, that's looking pretty damn dandy. That's going to cost us one hell of a pretty penny, but we can start construction immediately. Retool the class to the Normandy class supercarrier. Okay, here we go. That's going to cost us 9,000, 2,100 gallocyte. Shipyard fleet, and we're going to call this the FRSS after one of my great supporters, Impassive. The FRSF Impassive class supercarrier. That will be done on the 26th of May uh, 2021, or yeah, 2001, on the first year. Uh, but yeah, that is underway now, which is really, really nice. Now we need to research the Senya class's engine, which is going to be a 3,750-ton engine. Uh, so what is that going to be? Like a 62, 3,700-ton, 75, yeah. And then it's power boosted quite a bit, isn't it? It's going to be, what, a 1.6 power boost? Yeah, well, this is going to be a 1.6 power boost. So we'll do the exact same thing we did for the other design. Uh, so let me grab up that design over here, uh, put that in, and then we will create that design. Uh, let's put that into our power propulsion, and let's get that researched immediately, and then we can we pretty much have our carry group nearly uh, ready to go. Uh, research facilities, we complete research into fuel production rate, which is very, very good. In terms of fuel, I think we're doing really, really good now, aren't we? Oh, we've actually lost quite a bit. We're producing 16.6 .6 million litres of fuel, and if we check our Saturn harvesters, I want to find another place for this as well. Saturn fuel harvesters, we're producing 26 million litres of fuel a year, so we're producing about 38, 38 million litres of fuel total across our entire empire. Which is not as much as I would want, uh, realistically enough. Uh, 58th Fury just completed orders. Alright. 
And four more Aegis classes were completed on their construction. We're going to hold off on producing any more until we get access to a few more designs. And yeah, we have to re-change that around. I'm also going to have to move a few other things around. One of those things is going to be actually... Um, I'm going to down queue this. We'll need some more naval shipyards, uh, in fact. Um, so I'm going to order two more of those. I'll be done by the end of the year. Okay, how is all of the colonization going on this place? We have got an infrastructure here, which is nice. Uh, do we have any stockpile equipment? No, we do not, but we've been gaining quite a few of uh, resources, which is always nice. And yeah, we're just going to wait through the increments. Uh, I'm going to do five day increments at this point, just so we can get through everything. Uh, so, uh, unable to cargo group delta. Uh, cargo group delta, when you start moving out, um, uh, load installations. I want you to load uh, maintenance facilities. There we go. Send them over to 55 Buddhas. I want you to unload all installations and then head back to Seoul and refuel. Uh, this will load you, what, 20 installations total? Uh, first off, unload your terraformings. Unload all your installations. Please. Unload them all and then refuel. Oh, yeah, I gotta tell these two nimwits what bleed to do. I wish we could automate this, but we really, really can't, and it's annoying to me. We really, really can't. Okay. And, yeah. Okay. Can we Della complete orders? Good. Now I want you to load maintenance facilities. That means you'll be able to load 20 maintenance facilities at a time. Uh, send that over to video I do this uh, and then unload all installations and then go back to Earth and refuel. So that'll be able to support forces out there. We also need a refueling station out there as well. Uh, and, also, and a few other things on this transfer station and build up a stockpile world there would also be very, very useful. Uh, we discovered another abandoned uh, terraforming installation, uh, which is good. Everything so far is looking pretty damn dandy. Uh, we're just currently waiting for some stuff to get done. Um, I think we found even more duranium there, which was nice to see. Yeah, okay. 77th fight was completed. Um, good. Okay, we have a research facility that is available, so we're going to assign that. We found a random research facility on Impassive, which is a pretty rare find, to be fair. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah, we found quite a few things. Uh, main facilities are now on the planet, so we can actually support... Uh, we should be able to support plenty of forces, but right now we have a worker shortage because everyone's going into science, apparently, because there's a research lab, so why don't we just go into science, guys? Oh, bloody hell. No, we found a refueling station. That makes our work a lot easier. A lot, lot, lot easier. Uh, we can stop production of both of those, and then that will allow us to actually refuel stuff up to that point. We research into ground force construction rate 400. Let's keep going on that ground force construction rate. That should hopefully... Uh, get us just better situ situated around. Uh, so we're going to go for the 8,000 research one, and that should be done in about two and a bit years. Okay, production of fuel is completed. So now here's what we're going to do. New fires. Uh, new fires. Uh, let's... God, there's so many of them. Um, so first off, we need 36 for the, each, for the, uh, so, resupply, load ordinance, then I want you to join task group alpha, land on rice, there we go, then the next set of, uh, cast support, so 36, so up to 72, please, so we're going to detach all of these, then we're going to land them, god, there's so many of these, Land them on to the actor, and then the remaining ones they're going to be landed on to the fury, uh, not to the fury to the Norfolk. Uh, so we're going to go over here, task group alpha, land and assign to the Norfolk class. There we go. 
So now that should mean that we have a hell of a lot of these guys. Uh, the Actar, the Norfolk, and also the other stuff. Uh, you are refueling, resupplying, right? Yeah, I do believe so. Coolio. So, we now have all of these fighters on this. Uh, we'll have to separate those into SAS groups to actually have them properly get sorted around. But, you guys should have all your ordinance now. Yep. So now I'm going to detach uh, all of these uh, 36 fighters. Detach these. I'm going to rename this to the first cast uh, fighter group. And then we'll have them rejoin the rice. Uh, so task group alpha. Land on the mothership as assigned fleet. And we'll do the exact same for you. Detach, rename you to the second cast fighter wing, or oh, what did I decide to call these? Yeah, we're gonna, well, I don't really care what they're called, I'll be honest. Um, land on supply, we can handle, those are details which we can handle later on. Uh, then we have all the other Furies, and we're gonna rename these to, uh, the, yeah, we're gonna rename these to, uh, third cast fighter wing, and let me assign those to task group alpha, assign as on the mothership as ordered. Okay, so now if we have a look, we have all of these guys assigned correctly up to here, and we can prepare to go back to where we need to go to. So let's head over to 30, 30 for Nasius. We have a job to complete. Um, but yeah, I'm very, very, very happy now that we have all of our ground pounding fighters ready, loaded, armed, and capable. Also, in a couple of years, we'll have our super carrier done and uh, awaiting construction, which will be very, very, very useful for us. Okay, we'll cover the mine. We can begin construction of marine artillery. Okay. Complete research into fire production, right? Let's have you focus on your research on getting ourselves. What we not? What do we not have? A better jump stabilization module honestly would not go amiss. We're just waiting now. Uh, okay, we have arrived. We have arrived, ladies and gentlemen. We have arrived. Bring the task group towards the planet Data Phonetius Two. We're going to get within 2 million kilometer range, and then we are going to launch our forces towards them. Their service dog weapons do not have the capability or range to actually be able to hit us from that. So as soon as we get into actual contact range, we should be completely fine here. Okay, we have detected ground force signature. We've also detected that. What is the range to target? Range to target is 2 million kilometers. Hold out on that, and we're going to launch all carrier air wings immediately. They may take immediate fire when they uh, go in, but uh, they, will, they will do their best. So the first thing that I'm going to do, make sure that we auto assign all to fire controls. Uh, so. Um, 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 um. Volcano or cannon, volcano or cannon, and galing. There we go. Assigned to the system, so that should be everyone. Then we're going, boys. We are going. So we're going to go and provide a planetary search and destroy operations. This will tell them to basically search for forces and begin immediate uh, assault against them. So here we go. That'll take them, um, what, five minutes? Yeah, five minutes. So here we go. Cass is in route. We're going to do our air bombing campaign. We may lose a few of these fighters. Energy impacts, two of them were hit. As soon as they get on top, though, we, um, we should be fine. Um, okay, uh, looks like 
uh, we take we've taken no damage one of them is going to be killed though uh, looks like it yep one of them has been killed uh and suffered the catastrophic explosion so we lost one uh, on our way there but now our forces are above the surface orbit weapons and that means that they can actually not shoot at us so uh we're going to wait for the ground combat phase to go there we go okay so we lost two we lost two of them what are our casualties we ki we killed one excuse, excuse me so we lost two and we killed one okay so shots hit versus aa tank penetration combat battle wagon aa tank battle wagon anti-vehicle team they have so much aa and armor by god uh, let's work as warrior penetration. So they're mainly armored vehicles. We're, get, we're scoring very few hits, which is kind of the problem here. Is there a way that we can find... Is there a way that we can provide further bombardment capability support? So flak suppression. So let me try... I'm going to have one of the fighter wings break off, and it's going to provide... Uh, flak suppression, and then we're going to have the others just do a search and destroy for now. Okay, we lost two more. <laughs> Bloody hell. Zero casualties inflicted. We penetrated our armor on one of them, but we're not able to actually sustain any casualties. Okay, this was a complete waste. We're going to have to land ground forces then. It's just as simple as that. We will have to land ground forces. I don't see another way here. Uh, we're not scoring any hits. I think that has to do with the terrain and the fortification level. Okay. Yeah, we're just shooting so much and we're not actually scoring many hits at all. Okay, uh, gonna tell them to return to the fleet immediately. Um, you pick up, pick up the survivors you can, um, and then hightail it to the task group. So this does not seem effective versus them. These bloody mountains. I think this would have been effective on a barren world, but the mountains are really what's causing the problems there. Okay. The lucky thing is we can just leave. Oh, god damn it. We just got absolutely blummed in the back of the head there. So we lost an absolute crap ton of these fighters. Yeah, how many fighters did we totally lose? I'll have to do a count once they're back. But yeah, we took heavy casualties for that. That was a painful lesson. Uh, if we have a look at current numbers, we lost 13 fighters. We lost 13 fighters. That wasn't as bad as I expected. It was not as bad as I expected. But we did gain some information on our opponents. So that is something that they will not die in vain for. We know that they have battle wagons. So if we have a look. So battle wagons, combat wagons, AA tanks, warriors. Um, battle wagon, combat wagons. So they have a lot of armor from what I can tell. Which means that we're going to need a lot of armor if we're going to actually be able to deal with it. Okay, looks like the ground force option is going to have to be it, unfortunately. Um, so that means that these forces will have to fight, and they will have to fight pretty damn well. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to have to. And I'm also not... We're, I'm also pretty sure we're going to have to have our artillery battalions, not artillery battalions. Uh, ground unit training, those will be done somewhat shortly, but what I'm waiting on is going to be the shipyard retooling for these, which we're going to need, and a few other things. So, this proved ineffective, uh, this was a lesson learned, uh, but overall, um, I think that we have gained some information, and we will be back. We'll be back with a 200,000 ton army 
at our backs and they will rain havoc onto these annoying pests of rackers. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. Please just like, comment, subscribe. Feel free to become a channel member. Really just help me out. Get access to channels on Discord. Get some cool perks. Be able to talk to me whenever you want. Um, and yeah. Uh, also feel free to subscribe. Really does help me out winning it at 1900. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. And special thanks to members Ortigo1101, King Stroza, Lewis Neto, and Impassive9001. Thank, thanks for your support. We're able to keep the channel consistent and free.